Welcome to Kramer Control Tutorials. My name is Brian Morris with Kramer Electronics. In this video, we're going to discuss app settings in the K-Touch app for iOS devices. In the last tutorial video, we showed how to create a project in K-Touch. We're going to take that project now and apply it and use it with our iPad. First, let's open the K-Touch app. Once we're in the app, we're going to go to the settings tab at the bottom, enter our username and our password, and select the sync button. From there it will sync with your settings, and it will pull in the handsets that you have associated with that username and password. In this case we're going to use the iPad or iPad mini handset. It syncs with the server, pulls everything in, and then it prompts you to say that you have unassigned devices. We're going to assign these devices now, so select yes. You have unassigned devices for Virtual Device 11 and Virtual Device 12. First, we'll assign Virtual Device 11. Next thing we do is select the Gateway Connection, where it says Tap to Configure, and we're going to control this device via IP. Let's add a new gateway and put in our IP settings. Every K-Config device out of the box has an IP address of 192.168.1.39. If you've changed that to be something else, this is where you add that IP address. My unit that I'm connecting to is the default IP address. The port number for all of these units is 50,000. Say done, and then at the top right of the screen we say save. Repeat those steps for virtual device 12. Tap to configure gateway connection. Control via IP. And we can reuse the same gateway we just set. Now we have two assigned devices and we're ready to control our unit with our iPad. Before we do that, let's go to the settings at the bottom of the screen. Let's take a look at some of the settings in the app. Down below the sync button, you can see the settings. Make sound on tap will enable an audible click for every time you press a button on your control panel. Vibrate on tap will make it so your device vibrates if you're using an iPhone when you press a button on your control panel. Prevent System Lock, when enabled, will allow you to make it so your iPad will not fall asleep after a certain period of inactivity. When we select that, you can now see that Dim Screen on Idle is enabled. If we enable that, after a minute or so of inactivity, your screen will dim to go to a low power state because the unit is not being used. If you come back to the iPad and touch the screen, the brightness will raise up as it was before. Show connection status. If you click the gateway icon on your control screen, you can see the gateway statuses. Disable auto discovery will allow you to disable the auto discovery of any network devices that you're talking to. The last setting that we're going to use is lock settings. If we enable it, we can create a pin code to make it so any time a user wants to get into the settings, they must enter a PIN code in order to do so. Now with lock settings enabled, if I want to get into the settings to resync a panel, change a gateway, view gateways, or even view my panels, I have to put a PIN code in. At this point, our app is set up and we can go to the panel section at the bottom of the screen. Here's where you can see all the panels you created for that handset. Let's select Home. Here's our home screen that we created in the last tutorial video. If we click Power On, it will execute the command that we want and jump to the Power Panel. Now you can see your input sources, your volume up, volume down, power off, 
and drawer at the bottom of the screen. We can open our drawer and we can close our drawer. At the bottom right of the screen, you'll see a green gateway icon. That icon shows you that your iPad sees a connection with the KConfig device that's on your network. If we select our power off button, our panel will jump back to the home panel. This concludes this video tutorial. For further information and advanced settings, please see the other Kramer Control tutorials. From Kramer Electronics, I'm Brian Morris.